the company has got so many opportunities that are available and building the studio here has been one of those. To be offered a franchise of this magnitude, it's pretty humbling. We were like, looked at each other and kind of said, well, okay, let's, let's do this. We're very aware of the fact that we are standing on the shoulders of giants. We are playing in the space of some of the most critically acclaimed games of all time. There aren't a lot of things that are lacking in these <laughs> games. You don't look at them and say there's it's a big hole right there. The challenge for us coming in after Rocksteady is to do something which hasn't been done. We're not telling the story of, the, of Batman's beginning. We're not telling the story of the beginning of Arkham Asylum. But this is a story that's the first time Batman meets certain characters that are very important to him and defines the relationships which really ultimately start to defend him. We have eight of the best assassins in the world who've come together to Gotham City for one night, Christmas Eve of all nights, right? To kill the bat. I love the early career space. I love the Legends of the Dark Knight comic series because it makes everything feel very important. It's such an amazing opportunity to be able to be the first Arkham game actually set on the streets of Gotham City. So we really wanted to sort of add that layer of life and make it look like a functional place, even though it's Christmas Eve, even though it's super cold, even though everyone's at home with their families, we did want to show that it was a functional city and it's not a deserted wasteland. You know, no one's harsher critics of what's in this game than we are, and we definitely wanted to stand up to the Arkham legacy. Put the pin in it.